Hello, and thank you for allowing me to speak as part of your conference today. I know that many of you would like to have seen Marcus Hohenwater, the creator of GeoGebra, but because of the exciting things that are happening at GeoGebra, he unfortunately has other obligations that tie him up at this time. So please allow me to introduce myself. I am Robert Pontecorvo, and I'm the Assessment and Relations Lead at GeoGebra. I speak digitally around the world, updating people on the latest GeoGebra innovations. I'm located in the United States in New York, and I'm honored to be part of your presentations today. As I mentioned, what makes Marcus so busy today is the fantastic growth at GeoGebra. We are excited to tell you that last February, GeoGebra was acquired by the Baijus company. What's exciting about this acquisition is that the power of Baijus, the largest ed tech company in the world, allows GeoGebra to continue and even expand its mission of leveling the playing field for teaching and learning mathematics. As part of GeoGebra's agreement with Baijus, we will continue to be free to students, teachers, schools, and researchers. The power of Baijus has also already allowed us to expand our work by creating many new enhancements, along with the ability to start new ventures. Some of you may be wondering how GeoGebra continues to be free. Well, it's simple. GeoGebra has always been and will continue to be free for non-commercial use. What that means is users only pay for GeoGebra when they use GeoGebra to sell a product or make an income. If someone does use GeoGebra for commercial purposes, as always, they would enter into an agreement with GeoGebra on the terms of that use. Many of GeoGebra's commercial partners are companies that integrate GeoGebra into their testing and learning platforms. Because these companies charge a fee to their end users, they need to have a commercial agreement with GeoGebra. As a personal and educational user of GeoGebra, it will continue to be free to you, and I encourage you to become part of the GeoGebra community. That starts by following us on all of the social media platforms and by signing up for our newsletter when you create a GeoGebra account or from your profiles page if you already have an existing GeoGebra account. Enough about the company and the organization. Let's talk about what's new in the software. Many users use GeoGebra Classroom or have noticed a new layout to their main classroom page. Let me share my screen and pull up for you what I mean. You may have noticed a couple of more lines here on the left-hand side of your page. That's where a teacher can now view the activity as a whole or each individual task and the student's progress on the activity. When a teacher goes into a higher level student view and looks at the larger image of a student, there is also a switcher now where they can switch from student to student more quickly. Also, from the student's point of view, there is now an equation button where this makes it more easy for a student to enter a specific equation into GeoGebra along with writing text. Let me take a minute and stop screen sharing this and start screen sharing for you my tablet. Make sure that comes up. There it is. So here you can see, I am a teacher who shared an activity with my class. And this is my uh, dashboard where I can see the lesson as a whole. You're familiar with the share code and the copy. And here, of course, I can see the icons for my two students in my class, Cookie and River. If I click on one student, let's say Cookie, I can get a larger view of what Cookie is working on. And I could see their progress. And now here's that switcher that I mentioned, where a teacher can go from student one to student two. Here's River and look at River's progress. Of course, I could switch back again and look at Cookie's progress. And I can go back to the main view. Also, if I click on the activity name, 
I can see by task each student's progress. In other words, on task one, two of the two students have completed that task. On task two, no one has yet completed that task. And no one also has started task three. I can also look at each task individually to see who is actively working on that task. Right now, Cookie and River are working on task one. They have not yet started task two, and they have not either of them looked at task three. So a much nicer view of all of my students' work, both as a group and a class as a whole and individually. Uh, oh, I also mentioned that um, the equation editor button that I think you probably saw while I was viewing the, the student's view. Um, for those of you who use Microsoft Outlook, I think I should go back to my slides. You should know that GeoGebra has been working diligently to integrate Classroom into Microsoft Outlook and specifically Microsoft Teams. Uh, and they continue to work on integrating GeoGebra more seamlessly with many different LMSs as we go along. Also, what I didn't mention is that if a teacher, when they create a task, puts in questions where there are answers, when they assign that activity to the class, they can decide to allow their students to check their work as they are answering those questions. So a, two a student can get immediate feedback by showing their uh, solution button and looking at the next question and seeing how they are doing on each particular problem. One of the new innovations and ventures that I was talking about earlier is the creation of GeoGebra quizzes. GeoGebra is planning a quizzes platform where a teacher can get cumulative data on a student's work on a series of connected activities. So we look forward to um, you all getting GeoGebra quizzes in the near future. But what about the other apps? Well, you may have noticed the graphing calculator now has a new data table. Let me see if I can pull that up for you on a screen. If I share, and I will share, I guess, uh, here we go, that one. If I search on GeoGebra, okay, I go to the website. Here on Calculator Suite, of course, you already knew there was the probability calculator, and some of you are using that and enjoying it very much. But notice here, as far as the table, there was a table of values now for a long time, but now there is a data table where if you enter data, of course, those data points get plotted on the graph, but also you can now get one variable and two variable statistics from that data in that data table. Right. This is also phasing into our apps. The apps, the uh, iOS and the, the, the native apps do already have uh, the data table set up and the uh, one variable and two variable statistics are very soon to be released. So you'll look for that on the native apps as well. Oh, also, the next thing I wanted to tell you about on the app version, and I think I'll pull up my um, iPad again for this demonstration. Hold on, let me clear that out. Okay. The next feature, you should see my iPad there, here it comes. There we go. The next feature is one that we've all enjoyed for a long time on the computer-based uh, versions of GeoGebra. But now I'm here on my iPad and you'll notice as I type in a command, 
the wonderful command uh, autocomplete is now available. So you could see I am getting the option to select correlation coefficient. Autocomplete lets me select, let's say, the uh, coefficient feature. And I can move this slider over to get a bigger view of the window. And now I would put in my list of points, either as list one or as a, a series of values. And now autocorrect is available on the native app versions to make it more easy or more simple for your students to enter in commands. Let's see. What's in the future for GeoGebra Suites? Well, as I mentioned in the mobile app, the new data table will allow us to develop a probability calculator on the mobile devices. I know some of you are currently, like I said, enjoying that calculator in the web-based version of the suite. Well, how can you get in more, how could you get more involved and connected to GeoGebra? GeoGebra is currently working on our community involvement program where you will be able to apply to become a follower, a contributor, an ambassador, form an institute, and even a network, where you'll be able to earn the ability to display your GeoGebra badge as part of your personal signature. We at GeoGebra are very excited about our future, and we hope that you continue to join us on our mission to improve mathematics education around the world. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and that you have a very successful school year. Bye-bye.